Members of the press, fellow Kenyans, the Council of Governors would like to inform the public the following. One, the country is expecting a bumper harvest this year following the Big Four Food Security Initiative campaign done by the two levels of government. The, nation, the, the national government promised farmers of a guaranteed price of maize and ready market for all the farmers registered under this initiative. However, this promise has not been addressed and farmers are already harvesting. The national government should not abandon farmers at their hour of need. Two, there is an outcry from the farmers on when the Ministry of Agriculture is opening the depots to receive maize from farmers and announce the buying price. Maize redistribution strategy to move grains from surplus to deficit regions should be fast-tracked by NCPB. Currently, NCPB has space across the country to absorb 2.7 million bags. On this, we urge the Ministry of Agriculture to act with speed to open the depots to save our farmers from the agony of post-harvest losses and scrapless traders. Four, the current strategy on NCPB buying centers favor large-scale farmers while excluding small-scale farmers. Counties have constructed warehouses which can be used as collection centers as well as fertilizer distribution points. We urge the National Ministry of Agriculture to partner with county governments and use stores built by county governments as collection centers. Fifth, we note that some farmers are still unpaid despite delivering maize to the NCPB stores a year ago. We urge the Ministry of Agriculture, Livestock and Fisheries to clear the remaining balances owed to farmers to allow them to solve their domestic needs as well as invest for the next season. Sixth, the maize glut in the country due, due to importation of maize beyond the country's deficit has made NCPB not to sell maize at the prevailing market prices. This will result to huge storage costs and losses. Thus, NCPB and the Ministry of Agriculture need to come up with strategy to ensure the maize in the store is sold to create space for the new crop. Seven, the absence of the two cabinet secretaries, Treasury and Agriculture, in today's meeting put into question the commitment of the national government to the agenda on food security. Further, the increased taxes and levies on agricultural inputs makes our farmers uncompetitive to produce maize. We urge the government to look into a strategy to lower the cost of production. Eight, currently the NCPB stores are almost full and the grain dryers are aged, hence need repairs and replacement. The national government need to urgently set aside funds to repair all the dryers, beginning with the one in, uh, in Eldoret, and further come up with a strategy to enhance grain storage capacity to last the country for three to four years, to ensure periodic challenges in, in production do not lead us into a crisis. Ninth, mandatory and immediate rollout of the National Farmer Registration Exercise to identify genuine farmers is required. County governments whose mandate is agriculture should play a key role in this venture. Tenth, and finally, funds for maize purchase and fertilizer subsidy to be given to counties as conditional grants since crop husbandry is a devolved function. This is the end of the statement. Uh, so far, we met today, uh, the first sitting of the Council of Governors in Eldoret, to deliberate over this critical May sector, which seems to be not to be getting the urgent attention from government. And we hope that uh, the recommendations and, and, and uh, we've made are going to be uh, re looked at by both the national government and ourselves to make sure that this sector doesn't collapse and farmers get value of, of the produce, which we have actually encouraged them to produce more, that farmers get the, that value for them to be able to continue with, with this, uh, uh, developing this sector. As county governments, we are also putting our heads together. As a region, as a NOREP, you are aware we are flagship projects that we are working on in terms of milling. And uh, we've begun putting money to ensure that, one, farmers will soon be able to mill their maize 
through the cooperative enterprise development fund in this county. Uh, two sub-counties, Moiben and Soi, the cooperatives in those two sub-counties have pulled together to establish a milling plant. Uh, and we as government, we are going to give them part of the loan. Uh, part of the money they need to establish, we are going to give them in form of a loan. Uh, they will borrow from the uh, Enterprise Development Fund and uh, from members' contribution, they should be able to establish their own means. The other thing that we are doing so that we have a permanent solution to perennial income, the, the reason why you see there's a lot of push and pull is farmers in this region largely depend on maize for everything, subsistence living, school fees, clothing, health, everything. The reason we also want to get permanent solutions in terms of stability of family income. We in county governments are also pushing for diversification of crops so that farmers can have income from other quarters besides the maize farming. Uh, and also enhance you know, the amount of money they are, they are, they are going to have. Mm. As, as a region, uh, particularly in the North Rift, this, is, this was a COG meeting, it was not a, a North Rift meeting, but as a region, we are also working of how we can diversify so that we can be able to utilize this airport we have here. We do not want us to be meeting every year to go over the same issues, looking for solutions every other year. There's a deficit, we, we are in a crisis. There's a surplus, we are in a crisis. Now, one of the thinking this uh, Council of Governors is having, that we need to change our strategy from food security to food supplies, maize supplies, so that the supplies can be used for industrial purposes. That will also help uh, stabilize the prices, but more important, ensure that there's always adequate maize to feed Kenyans. We don't have a single, not even a grain, a single bag of maize in uh, the NCPB uh, stores, the store that we have. Uh, knowing that in most of us, uh, like also Nyamira, depend on maize. If we don't have ugali, we slept hungry. So we need to have uh, maize uh, uh, in that uh, because there is a lot of maize this region, like Wasingishu, Transoia. It can be bought in the NCBB and so that the farmers can be able to access the maize.